I'd like to welcome new Giants president of baseball operations, Farhan Zaidi. All right, Farhan Zaidi, first of all, congratulations. The new president of baseball operations for the Giants, the first president of baseball operations. I, you know, a lot of research on you the last couple of days trying mm -hmm. to figure out how this all came about. And, yeah. and uh, there's a pretty famous story about when you took the Dodgers job that you kind of had a panic attack as you were jogging <laughs> and decided that you were going to leave Oakland and, and go to Los Angeles. Was there a moment over the last few days, a moment Monday night or Tuesday that, that stood out as the moment you realized you were going to switch sides and come here? Yeah, it was probably a more gradual process here, less of a dramatic climax, I think, to the decision process. Um, you know, it was just, uh, you know, a gradual increasing level of comfort with the giant organization, with Larry, who I had the, you know, was fortunate enough to spend time with over the last few days, um, and just feel like from a life standpoint and taking on the challenge of coming to this organization at a time when, you know, I had a chance to really be on the upswing. Um, yeah, it was kind of more this time all the pieces fit together. There were two things that really stood out to me, being on the other side and, and covering you guys 19 times a year. One, mm -hmm. one was just kind of the depth and, and the way that over the course of, of a season, you always outlasted everybody with injuries and, and not just the 25-man roster, but the 40-man roster. Mm -hmm. How important is that to you just as a philosophy and, and also as you look at this 40-man roster, kind of reshaping maybe not the top, but from 25 to 30 or 30 to 40? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, uh, baseball front offices, you know, one of its primary goals should be to create a 40-man roster where taking any player off gives you heartburn. You know, I mean, when you have soft spots on the 40-man roster, um, that probably means that you're leaving value on the table somewhere. So, you know, as we, you know, arriving here, there's actually, you know, quite a bit of room on the 40-man roster. And I think one of our goals is going to be to create and add depth to the organization by just maximizing that and make sure everybody that's on that 40 man has a chance to uh, be a contributor for us in 2019. The other thing that always stood out, and maybe this is part of that, is just how versatile on the field the Dodgers were with Chris Taylor and Hernandez, Cody mm -hmm. Bellinger going back and forth, Muncie. Is that something that's been important to you or was that something that was more of the players you had? It, it has been important and I think for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. One is it just insulates you from injuries better. I mean, when you have a bunch of guys that serve as inner changeable pieces for the manager. Uh, one is when you have an injury, uh, a lot of times you don't have to go get another second baseman. There's two other guys on the team that can occupy that position. Um, you know, secondly, when you start looking at off days and making sure that everybody on your roster is getting adequate rest, uh, the ability of guys to play multiple positions gives you more opportunities to do that. You know, the other thing is I do think it has a cultural impact uh, on a roster when players move around and they don't identify as I'm the shortstop or I'm the third baseman. You know, you're just a baseball player and you're part of a team and you do whatever the team asks or needs of you and uh, that creates a different kind of culture that I think is really conducive to a winning environment.